it is time now for our weekend cover story. As the old saying goes, age is just a number and that couldn't be truer of our next guest. At 57 years young, dance teacher Cheryl Smith decided to shake things up a bit and join Victoria Police. Shake things up a lot. <laughs> We're pleased to say the new recruit joins us live on weekend today. Good to see you, Cheryl. Good morning. So from dance teacher, as Jane told us, to police officer, why the career change? Oh, look, I think I've always wanted to be a police officer, but I had a few world championships to get out of the way. Um, and I think I just really wanted to do something a bit more meaningful with my time, my energy, and do something to, for the community. Yeah. Now, there is no age limit to join the Victoria I Police. Know. But let's face it, most of the recruits are going to be 18, 19, 20, 21. Not a lot yep. are going to be 57. No. Um, it's not physically easy either, it's quite no. demanding. Talk us through what the Academy in, is in, involves. Yeah, so uh, there's quite a bit of physical activity and uh, there's a fitness test. It has five elements to it. And one of the elements I'm particularly bad at, but... Oh, uh, what's that? Yeah. yeah, what is it? It's called Illinois Agility. OK. And uh, you start face down in a push-up and then you run as fast as you can and then quickly turn the other direction, do some cones, another some cones, and uh, do that as fast as you can. I'd be no good at that. <laughs> Oh, I'd be fabulous. <laughs> I'm not the fastest in the room, but um, the, co the coaching staff at Academy are incredible, so they gave me lots of tips and techniques to make me faster. Hey, hey. congratulations on the graduation. Thank um, you. That must have been really special there at the Police Academy in Glen Waverley. Yep. Um, your sister presented you with your police badge. This she is did. a beautiful moment, a it special was. moment. I mean, what does it mean to you, to your family? Because it's a new chapter in your life. Yeah. So my sister didn't know about my application. I didn't tell her until I got a fair way down it. And, uh, and then she was very excited for me. My, I've got a big support crew around me that uh, are there for me every step of the way. They're very excited, they're very proud, and I uh, definitely couldn't have done it without their support. Yeah. So what's it like then going into a police station as the newbie, but you know, not looking like your traditional newbie. I know, it's fantastic actually. The first time I got a taste of it was I was um, at the counter and I was dealing with uh, some members of the public and a lady said to me, Cheryl, how long have you been doing this? And I said, oh, I've been around a while. <laughs> and she said, I can tell, you're really good at it. And I was like, oh, wow, that was the difference, you know, so I really enjoyed seeing that impact that I was having. Cheryl, just really quickly, for anyone in their 50s, 60s might be contemplating a career change, what would you say? Do it in a heartbeat, it's amazing. And at the moment they're recruiting, so they only do it about every two or three years. And uh, you can change your mind, you can withdraw your application or cancel any time, but grab it now while it's still going and it's the most amazing experience, do it. You only live once, don't you, Cheryl? That's it. Live it up. Constable Cheryl Smith. That's it. Constable Cheryl Smith Thank at you. your service. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank For you. more information, if you want to get involved, head to police.vic.gov.au. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?